Welcome back to San Clemente. You're watching the Hurley Pro, the eighth stop on the Samsung Galaxy Championship Tour. This matchup features one goofy footer, Nat Young, from Santa Cruz, California. And a regular footer, stands with his left foot forward, Arita Mburu, representing Spain. Positioning himself on the right-hand side of your screen is probably the best bet. This is Nat, setting up his first turn. A little dagger off the top to get down the line. Clean backside hook on the second effort. Throws it up vertical, down the bottom, and attacking once again. Clean flow through the white water, and he'll step on a challenging section to finish. Seen this happen before. Not always the first wave of the heat goes on to a gigantic number. And is going to try to make up for it quickly. Now setting up a beautiful bottom turn. Takes one off the top. Sets his rail in front of Nat. Full roundhouse. Looking to hit the lip now. Layback. Hack off the top for the Spaniard. Coming around the corner. Full wrap again. Blasting it one more time. A good recovery way from Aritz. Fighting back against Nat Cy Young. Great comeback wave there for Aritz. Um, definitely put the hammer down. Um, obviously on his backhand attack. Let's have a look. Nice and strong off the bottom there. Just straight into it. Sets those fins. Gets that rail in the water. And just unloads some big turns. Want to know about power? Watch how much water gets thrown out of the back of the wave. Right there. Just buckets of water. Nat Young up and over that section. And again. So he's just got that foot planted in one spot. And that's not the kind of guy that will move up and down his board. Once he gets his feet set, that's him done. On the other hand, Aritz Aramburu, you can see, just moving his back foot up and down the board a little bit. Now he gets that tail pad happening. Bangs it around off the white water right there. Aritz keeps that front, that back foot up a little bit. And then once he goes into his turn, he'll then put that foot right back and unleash that big turn right there. You can see up and over the back of that one. So Aritz Aramburu, great comeback wave there from him. Two completely different approaches, two completely different styles. Going off, Ian went to town, just throwing it up into the backside, just cracks. These are some amazing turns, but Phil just went mental. I'm calling the judges are backwards on the first exchange, but hey, I'm not the judge up in the panel. Phil was going off, big major maneuvers and combinations, comes to the inside, finishes strong. Look at these whips. I mean, this guy was on fire. There's no way that Phil lost that heat, and he won with a powering. He's loving the action. Action. Oh, yeah. And Let one guy who's loving it as well is during that recap, Nat oh. Young went crazy on this right. You know, you got to agree with Todd Klein. Nat Young's definitely up there as far as power goes. See how he just lays into that bottom turn that gives him that spring off the bottom to really unleash some big top turns there. Throwing a lot of water. That's going to be really impressing the judges, and it did impress the judges. A 9.43 on this occasion. And I'll tell you what, uh, Ritz Aaron Baru has got a tall order right now. 16.612 total required from him. Look how hard he comes off the bottom, just leans into it, all that power on the back foot, and then just tags that lip. So much confidence in his equipment, so much confidence in his choice of turns. It doesn't look like there's any doubt in his mind what he wants to do on that wave. Nat Young has a 16.6 combined total out in front, but right now, we're seeing the comeback trail for Aritz Aramburu. Snap to start, big roundhouse cut back on the second move. Layback wrap, just to change up the rhythm. And he's out of there. Had a 6-5 before that. He was just trying to break the combination pots. This kid's got game. Watch this bottom turn, top turn combo right there. Just in the pocket. Powerful. Straight into the next one. Seamless surfing. That's that roundhouse cutback that we talk about. It's just underrated. And again, just Matt Hoy layback. And uh, out on the open face, decides to kick out of that. So obviously looking to uh, get himself out of a combo situation. Needing somewhere... I don't know, in a 6.61 to get him out of that. He'll need a perfect 10 after that. In the rails, 10.15 on the clock. Nat Young locks into his backhand again. Casual start with a wrap back into the pocket, and he's going to get out of there quickly. Nothing affecting his top two. Next wave. Well, he just watched by a return brew. And he's going to make sure to hang on the priority. He hopes for another solid set. This has definitely come to play. Well, it's so special when you can score in a waiting period. We've seen how hard that can be. This is Nat Young. He'll check out the lowers left. Casual to start. He might be looking for something big. Nice front side air reverse. Coming around the corner. And now searching for another lip to project off. A tail high reverse on the inside corner as well. 
to remind everybody about that lethal forehand attack. So I'm just checking it out, feeling his way through. You can kind of read the way he was pumping down the line. He was going to go above the lip there. You know, you kind of looked at that wave. He sort of didn't show too much interest in the beginning and then decided to have a go, obviously pulling that air reverse off and then deciding to finish it off. Let's have a look. You can see almost, I thought he was going to kick out right there and then deciding to go for it. Nice one right there. No hands, straight out. You know, that, that's what you've got to do. Come out of that maneuver straight into the next one. The judges like that transition. 7.71 is what he's trying to better. Obviously, he's still got the Ritz Aaron Baru in that combo situation. See how that back foot is right back on that kick pad. Nice rotation right there. Lands perfectly, comes around, slides those feet back, and suddenly comes out of that turn nice and clean. Just between a Ritz and Nat. Watch how vertical the board gets from that there. A little bit of variety as well. Just that power gouge. So confident, so solid on Nat's, on his feet. And I think that's what the judges are enjoying right now. See that form from Nat Young all the way through the inside. Always finishing his waves as we catch up to live action with Aaron Brew. It was an important wave there for him to break the combo because we're running out of time. Let's see what happened to a Ritz here, Potts. Yeah, good size wave there from Ritz. Nice carving maneuver to kick things off. He's getting himself in that flow, bangs it off the top. And another beautiful turn. Three searing front side maneuvers and a fourth right there. And then it kind of ran away from him. It's a bit of a shame that he didn't get to finish that off, but four solid turns there from Maritz Arambu. And I love the shot. You can almost see how fast the wave moves and how quick these guys have to react. Spontaneous stuff here, split second decisions. Maritz Arambu picking some good turns in the right places at the right time. A 7.13 gets himself out of that combo situation, now needing a wave up in that excellent range, Joe. And, uh, you know, we're going to you know, miss Freddie P, that's for sure. I'm going to miss that passion. I'm going to miss that exciting moments where you don't know what he's going to do. Final wave here for Aritz Aaron Brew. Needs a 9.47 aggressive reverse, knowing that he needs a gigantic score. Carve off the top and blowing the door out the back on the final maneuver. Knew it was a smaller wave and he let go of everything that he had. That's why we love seeing him get these calls up, call up on tour. Had a 7-1-3 before that, wasn't able to get priority off Matt Young and had the roll of the dice there. Yeah, I like his approach on this wave. Um, I, I don't think it's going to be enough. It's not going to be a 9.47, but you can see the aggression. You talk about that turn right there, just throwing everything at it and then straight into the next one there. Beautiful transition between turns and then showing some power and aggression on that last maneuver as well. So Ritz Aaron Baru surfing. A pretty good heat, but unfortunately, Nat Young dropping that 9.43. That is going to be the difference, Joe. So we see a reach, just the connection on the inside, oh. going for a huge hammer on the closeout section. He knows these little options to get called up or can be hard to come by. Alejo Moniz always has the first decision, then it goes to Tomas Hermes. Unfortunately, a reach Aaron Burrow going down in this one.